In order to avoid any form of confusion, I am using this old avatar that I had back in 2013 when Candy KO10 was basically a big piece of shit who has to flag down every fucking video that I've ever made. I'm glad he's gone now, you know? I mean, once in a while he returns whenever I mention him, but I really hope he never comes back. Like, you wouldn't want him to be living on this planet, trust me. Hey folks, it's Andrew Norton here. <laughs> this is pretty much what you sound like, seriously. I can understand better from Hobbs Justice. Remember this guy? Okay, if you're sad, too bad. Okay, I don't feel sorry. Okay, if, if this video makes you cry, then it's not my fault. Okay, it doesn't matter on what reason it is. It could be the fact that I'm making a video response to you. It could be my face, my t-shirt. It could be the fucking painting on the wall. It could be anything that makes you cry or make you sad. You know, this is again a minor complaint, but can't you get a better fucking video converter? And also the majority of your fucking audience is pretty much just a big fucking echo chamber. They pretty much know who the fuck I am, so yeah, you're pretty much wasting everybody's time. Yeah, we're doing him again. Let's begin. Look, I'm just going to skip a few parts here and there because quite frankly, this guy can't pronounce the word her. He keeps saying the word her or, or whore. Seriously, work on your fucking English, man. Here is one of Anita tweets. Each time an angry YouTuber with 250k fans decide to slander and strawman me, the harassment increases exponentially. Really? Repsion, Thunderfoot, Alpha Omega Sin have done nothing more than slander and strawman you, Anita? Right, so I, that will, in, in addition to what we need to do to, to help pressure companies to make those changes, um, they need to step up. So working at those companies and being like, hey, how about we do these things or suggest these ideas that will make it be, right? And, and the vision that I have for what games can be, it, these are like micro pieces of that, right? So games like Gone Home was incredibly moving. You know, not to go off topic a little bit, but Gone Home is one of the biggest pieces of shit that I have ever played. Seriously, the only reason that people liked it is because there's queers. That's the only reason. You know, it's not like some sort of indie horror game. You just look around a fucking house and, you know, that's about it. And somehow it's some sort of masterpiece that deserves, you know, five gold stars and stuff. Not to mention in Steam, it costs 20 fucking dollars. 20 dollars on a simple fucking game. A game like that shouldn't even have... A price tag it should be at least released for fucking free because quite frankly it doesn't deserve the title of one of the greatest games of all time just because of having homosexuals in it a game like Five Nights at Freddy's you know a, a game that you you don't even move you just simply sit down and watch the animatronics you know don't get them near you um that game costs maybe around five to seven dollars. It might depend on where you live, but it's one of the best games that I've ever played, if not ever seen. It is far, 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 far more superior than Gone Home will ever be. Um, I recently replayed Papo and Yo, which just is a devastating game that that you know it's not fun to play. Yeah, there you have it. Modern feminism in gaming in a nutshell. Pressuring game developers to make games that are not fun to play. So, um, I think that there's two things here, right? One is being cynical about games, and one is being cynical about the harassment. And they're interwoven in a lot of ways, but for the sake of this conversation, we can kind of separate that out. Um, I think, uh, and I, I think that you may have experienced this too, is that like, you know, we get, you know, the new games come out and they're like brooding white dude 568 and women are damsels and killed and just like, oh my God, why are we doing this again and again? Have we learned nothing? 
Um, but when games come out that really touch you is when you're reminded of like the possibility of what games can be, right? And, and the vision that I have for what games can be, it, these are like micro pieces of that, right? So games like Gone Home was incredibly moving. Um, I recently replayed Papo and Yo, which just is a devastating game that, that you know, it's not fun to play, but it's like, wow, a game can, a, like an, an awesome, beautiful game can really speak to a, uh, can speak to very real issues that we face. What issues? What fucking issues is this person even talking about? I mean, seriously, most people who play the fucking video game just wants to play the game. Yes, it's okay to enjoy the fucking art, but it doesn't matter because people just want to play the fucking game. Have you even looked at any of these YouTubers' videos? So out of a sense of morbid curiosity, I watched the first few minutes of one of these just to see what free thought blogs was going to bring to the atheist community. So I'm Mazakin. I often go by Severus online pretty much everywhere. So what's your point? But no, of course, your logic is you make fun of a trans person. Guess what? You hate trans people. And don't forget that one video when Thunderful compare homosexuals to rapists. Oh my god, Thunderfoot compares homosexuals to retarded people, psychopaths and stuff. Oh the horror! The point of Thunderfoot's argument is this, trying to convince a sociopath to stop killing or to stop raping. It's the same thing as trying to convert a gay man to a straight man and vice versa. You are such an idiot. Something is incredibly odd with this picture. Something that has a very powerful stench to it. Only one of them don't have facial hair. Is that your point? Wait, what? what? Hmm. Could all these men could be... <gasps> I don't know. Cisgendered white men? Oh, why, of course. Only cisgendered white men have the power to create such harassment towards Aeneas Sarkeesian. I think that the real reason why she picked those four is because they have the most subscribers. Or she could have picked the many, many examples of females having a voice against her. But she decides, no, no, no. I have to go after these specific four uh, people who apparently do nothing more than straw men and slander me. <laughs> Once again, I doubt Anita Sarkeesian has ever watched any of their videos. And guess who's doing all the responding? Guess who's defending the living hell out of Anita Sarkeesian? Why, it's you, Andrew Norton. It's you. Wow, that is a load of shit. And she has picked those four YouTubers who are apparently cisgendered white men out of the hundreds of YouTubers who are either female or non-white male. But how much of these people have a more subscribers at these four? How many of them actually gets to go to the GDC awards and actually speak on behalf of Gamergate? None. She stated that people with 250,000 subscribers or more, not anyone who is critical or whore. You say it again! A critical or whore! Seriously, work on your fucking English! Are you paying attention? It's kind of hard not to pay attention because you sound like the offspring between the Hulk and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, he and whore! And once more, I must bring up Christina Hoff Summers who is yet again one of Aeneas Sarkeesian's greatest fucking critics, and Aeneas Sarkeesian doesn't even acknowledge her. She basically just looks to the side, doesn't dodge to debate, and doesn't want to debate Christina Hoff Summers, and rather stick to our fucking echo chamber. She seems to be a bit biased, don't you think? And one of her biggest critics of all time is Christina Hoff Summers. Who works for the American Enterprise Institute, a right-wing organization that happened against abortion and gay rights. It doesn't matter because she still has her own fucking opinion and still is willing to debate. I mean, 
Really? Are you one of those groups of people who actually believe that if you think that women deserve to be in a fucking kitchen, then all forms of opinions that you have about Anita Sarkeesian is automatically invalid no matter how well thought out it is? Because if you're one of those type of people, then you really need some fucking help. And of course, Anita Sarkeesian, no, 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 not Anita Sarkeesian, but Jonathan McIntosh and Anita Sarkeesian worked together and told this puppet, Jonathan Mann, to work on a song, quote unquote, debunking Christina Hoff Summers' video. Tag may not know this, but Jonathan Mann was formerly known as Game Jew. And as a side note, Joe, so that's the quip. And so what? It doesn't really change the fact that Anita Sarkeesian and Jonathan McIntosh talked to Jonathan Mann in order to make a quote-unquote rebuttal song against uh, Christina Hoff Summers in the poorest way possible. Uh -huh. And that's what makes you different. Step back or you might miss it. Taking the whole picture, you're me a moto. See that tag? Delphin Man is not a puppet, but someone who had been approved by the divine god of gaming himself. Oh my god! I don't give a shit. That's right, I do not give a fuck, because guess what? Epic rap battles have met, um, uh, what's his face? Oh yes, Obama! And guess what, my retarded illiterate friend? Jonathan Mann is still a fucking puppet. You know, just a little puppet hanging on strings, controlled by the likes of Anita Sarkeesian, just sucking her big fat dick. And I know it's not some sort of easy feat to get the attention of Mikashi Michikoto, I can't pronounce his name. Um, however, there are plenty of people who have actually shaken his hand, and Jonathan Mann is no different from all those other folks. I mean, what? Did he get, like, some sort of special star of recognition? You know, did M Makoto just, you know, give him a fucking trophy that, you know, people can be like, WOW! WOW! You know, it, it, it's nothing too special. He wrote a song. He, it, that's it. But, I mean, that's nothing. And yet, you are not pleased. He got in the way of some important businessman and sang a song. So what? Now, on the other hand, if you were to say, I don't know, become close friends with the guy, then that is something. But to get in the way of the legend himself just to sing a shitty ass song is nothing. Most who are defending Anita Sarkeesian on YouTube is apparently a cisgender white male, not a female. How do you exactly know that that is true? I know that women, people of color, and trans people who have defended Anita. Name one feminist that actually deals with any form of criticism. And no, Jenny McDermott doesn't count. She doesn't even respond to any form of criticism whatsoever. She basically makes fun of people. That's it. Oh, so Hannibal has criticized Anita in the past. I will link his video in the description. But even if, for the sake of argument, that what you say is true, it will, it will be basically a two quote quick fire scene. First of all, I said most, not all. I mean, here's the fucking screenshot. Most who are defending Anita Sarkeesian on YouTube is apparently a cisgender white male. That's the major key word. Most. And the point of my argument is that the feminist community and the social justice warriors who are defending Anita Sarkeesian, the majority of them are cisgendered white men. 
That's the major majority. You're the ones who are doing the dirty work for Anita Sarkeesian. She's not the one who is responding to criticism. It is you. And once again, I must point out that there are plenty of people, uh, regardless of skin color or gender, these groups of people within the Gamergate community are willing to debate. They're willing to have a discussion. However, when it's, or it's, when it's the feminist, there are barely, very few who are either female or non cisgender white men are willing to debate or have a discussion. You're real. They usually just h turn tail and hide like a little bitch and rely, guess on who? People like yourself. And the most ironic thing is that we have plenty of women that are either in support of Gamergate or just plain out disagree with Adida Sarkeesian. Which is, quite frankly, very freaking sad that there are plenty of women who actually is in disagreement with a movement that is supposedly for helping women. So what if there are women who support Gamergate or in all against feminism? Gamergate is literally being accused of consisting of nothing more than sock puppets when it comes to women and minorities within the Gamergate community. They act like they do not exist. In the past, there are women who are against women's right to vote. There are women who are against abortion. There are a number of women who support groups such as the Islamic State who enslaves women. And just like the feminist community, there are actually a few feminists that actually do care about men's rights. So I should become a feminist, right? 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 Women supporting Gimmingay and all against feminism means jack shit. So what I'm getting at is that you're literally saying that it doesn't matter on how many women are in support of Gamergate because it still is sexist because social justice warriors said so. Yet, if I turn this around against the feminist like yourself, you're going to say, no, 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 no. Feminism means equality. We just love to be cool and hip and stuff, you know? Seriously, I can easily say this. Guess what? It doesn't matter on how many men are in support of feminism. Because guess what? Feminism is the exact same thing as sexism. Period. And any form of criticism towards any of these feminists is a form of harassment. Oh, the massive horror. These cisgender white men refuse to change. I think it will be appropriate to read from this MRA anti-feminist blog post I found the other day. No intelligent feminist in the 90s ever was asinine enough to declare that the feminist question is a gender question and that the border-born independence investigation of, this, of that question can constitute gender discrimination. No feminist known beyond the next three had ever ventured such a silly source, but it's apparently all that remains for the non-feminist fronts to sell about. From what can be learned from them, they are all for the most part women of no danger themselves, and use the term danger discrimination as a white flag which they think will steer people into action. And what are curious how the cry of danger discrimination is used to invoke the spirit of prosecution against alleged prosecutors. To be honest, this statement actually comes from Ford's anti-Semitic book, The International Jew, which was written over 19 years ago. I just changed the sum of the terminology to make a point. You can see how similar Ford's accusation how Jews play victim for their own gain is very similar to today's accusation how feminists play victim for their own gain. You know, I'm just gonna state this out right now. Feminism is a religion. There, I said it. In fact, there are a lot of similarities between statements made by anti-Semites and anti-feminists, as I previously has shown.
Look, I'm going to point out the similarities between religion and feminism, okay? If you decide to go after, uh, say, the Christian God, there's going to be people out there that are going to start acting like, Oh my God, this person is attacking God, you know? We can't let this person spread out, quote-unquote, blasphemy about God. So they're willing to do anything to silence any of those criticism. May it be flagging down someone's videos to going as far as to killing them. Some Christians are even willing to go as far as to say that it's some sort of hate crime to even speak out against God. So therefore you must be stoned to death. Now, the feminists are almost pretty much identical to almost any religion. May it be Christianity or Islam. For example, if you quote-unquote speak blasphemy about God, then guess what? You are a sinner. And if you speak out against feminism, then guess what? You are a misogynist. You, a cisgender white man, are living a privileged life. So you must give up these privileges in order to be a good person. In the same way that, you know, you have to be in the, you know, the under the life of Christ in order to be saved. You know, in order to be a good person, you need to convert into being a Christian. You know, there's just so many fucking similarities between Christianity and feminism that they might as well just consider feminism a religion. This victim called accusation have been used in the past against the discriminated groups such as Jews, Blacks, Gays, and Women. This accusation has been overused for a long time and seems to be used as a prophetic attempt to discourage notice of real discrimination. Yet it's okay for the likes of Anita Sarkeesian to do this. Of any kind towards any group of people. So what I'm saying, Tech, is that you are no different than the Bill of Wise and Watch Limbaugh's of the world. And thus, those cisgender white men who love feminism so much that they're willing to be castrated in the name of feminism are going to find these videos and defend the living hell of Anita Sarkeesian or even feminism in general. May it be Ryan Wiley, Hannibal Vector, Hobbes, or Andrew Norton. That's me. Or any of these people who are in blue chat. Um, Tag, let me remind you, Hobbes Justice is not a Swiss gender, but a self-considered non-gender person. Ugh, great. This stupid shit. I don't identify as any gender. Ugh. That's just, that's just stupid. You know, that's extremely stupid. Oh, so you forgot to mention this person? So, I am not your black and white scholar. I have the capacity to think and to see in grayscale. Yeah, because he makes so many feminist videos out there. Uh, let's see, what he makes, like three, four videos now over the course of how many years on, he's been on YouTube? Four, five years? These people completely deny it, but they see Aeneas Sarkeesian as more than a human being. She is a god, and she shouldn't come down for any reason to talk to the common folk on YouTube. First of all, Tag, there are some things I disagree with Anita about. Examples? And second, I will agree with you, Dad. I really think that I need to sort of address more of her criticism. Oh my god, a feminist that actually believes that Anita Sarkeesian should address her critics more often. Holy shit, there really is a god! I suggest you watch some of Two Times videos on Anita Sarkeesian. Link in that description. About 95% of what he said, I or more, I happen to agree with. And the sad thing is, is I really want to have a discussion or a debate with any female feminist whatsoever. I would love to see a feminist respond to my video that is in fact a female. But so far, the only groups of people that are out there who are defending feminism, at least on YouTube, consist of nothing more of cisgendered white 
males. Trust me, as a non-cisgender individual, I can ill afford to let my guard down around feminism due to the fact that TERFs do exist. I Oh, don't you worry, Andrew, honey. I'm going to make a video response to little old S's of thought and destroy him. Trans exclusionary radical feminists. And here's my thought that feminism is supposed to teach that women are strong and independent and they should be able to handle any form of criticism whatsoever. However, most of these female feminists hide like little bitches behind men and demand that these men should handle the dirty work for them. Okay, I will think I will stop the video here. I will link to some amazing and wonderful free metal, non-white, and transgender feminists. One of them actually said that all of Thunderfoot subscribers are neo-Nazis. Guess which one who said it. I'll give you a guess. You know, just, just guess, guess. It's Laughing Witch, okay? It's Laughing Witch. I want you all to check out. Anyway, I think I'm done with this guy, unless he haven't to respond to me. And here's the video response. I'm surprised that you haven't addressed everything that I said in my video, which is pretty fucking sad, you know. Come on, boy. Come on. Here, boy. Here, we are. Come on. Make your video response. Make your video response. Come on. Come on, boy. But as for the rest of you all, goodbye. And I'll see you in feminist hell. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.